Right, guys, tell me, who is your favourite reindeer? Rudolph! 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 Well, that's really lucky, because today we're going to make some Rudolph bunting. So, first thing you have to do, you need to take a template. You can get these on the website. Do you see the big triangle? You're going to pick up your scissors and you're going to cut out the triangle. And then that is perfect, so we have a triangle there. OK, so we've got all our hessian laid out. Now, make sure you're going towards the edges because you need to cut out six triangles like this. OK, and you're going to trace around that. Do you know what would make this really quick? What? Wasn't that quick? OK, guys, are you ready to move on to the next part? Yes. Yeah. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to get our scissors and let's start cutting them out. And guys, just remember to take your time here. We're in no rush. Nice and carefully does it. That is a great job, Jimmy. Well done. So what we're going to do next, we are going to get our antlers ready. Now, what you're going to do with your pegs, you're going to peg them on to the edges of your plate. Now, just do it very close together on one side of the plate. And this is just a way of painting it without getting loads and loads of paint on our fingers. OK, time is up. Down with your plates. Let's pick up our hessian and we're going to go over here. Now for my favourite part, decorating! Yes! yes. OK. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take our first piece of hessian and you're going to pick out two uh, googly eyes. And try to make sure they're the same size. Brilliant. And then what else does Rudolph need? He needs a red nose. These are glue dots. You're going to peel off the bit of white paper and you're going to stick it on to the back and then we peel off the plastic part. And what we should have is the glue dot stuck onto the nose. We're then going to position that onto the hessian. And we're going to hold that for one, two, three, and that is Rudolph's nose done. OK, so we have our Rudolphs done. Now, I have a question for you guys. Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah! OK, so let's get a big circle and a small circle each. And you can pick your own colour of hat. What would you like, red or green? Uh, green, please. Green hat, yep. Big belly on there. And then you're going to put the small circle up above, and then you're going to place your hat. It's time to bring them to life. I've got a happy snowman, so I'm going to give him a little smile. OK, so now we have a Rudolph and we have a snowman. So let's see how many more we can make in the next couple of minutes, because we're going to need more than two for bunting. So just one last thing to do. You're going to take two pegs and put two pegs onto each piece of bunting. Now, you might be wondering what we're going to do with our snowmen. What you're going to do, you're just going to get normal pegs for that. And same again, just clip them on to the top. Clip, clip. And what you're going to do, you're going to roll out your string and you're just going to clip it in underneath your pegs. So make sure you give it a wee bit extra at the end so you have something to tie. And what we should be left with after we're finished clipping is something that looks a little bit like this! Yes. 